Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. Yeah, today we have the uh, 18th of July 2019, 3 o'clock p.m. at least uh, in uh, Germany. And my name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of webinars. Today's topic, JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. So what we will do during the next couple of minutes is, of course, I will introduce you into JFD Invest and I will show you how you can have good investing experience with JFD Invest and how you can improve your decision making in what kind of um, strategies you might follow. Then I will give you a few hints of what are my personal preferences in order to make final decisions. Because JFD Invest is something like a digital wealth management, which means, yeah, there are trading strategies around, but it's your decision which strategy you want to follow and that those trades are directly copied into your JFD Invest account, which is a quite cool platform, um, which makes exactly that possible, but still you are involved because you are the portfolio manager of your JFD Invest account. And you see already one first recommendation. It's always about diversification, not just following one single strategy. It's the same like your own trading activities. Just to have one trading strategy, that's not good enough. Uh, you can do better by diversification of strategies and underlyings and all those things will be topic of today of course we will look to the highlights of uh, last week which has been the best performer and of course uh, we um, will look to my personal jfd invest account um, i report about that every week here <clears throat> so you can learn what's possible with uh, jfd invest and finally I want to introduce a new trading strategy. We have launched a new one called Butterfly. And of course, that one uh, we will look much more close in order to review that strategy in order to decide finally, does it fit to your personal trading preferences, investing preferences, and then it might be a new strategy for you. But because uh, you know the procedure be, uh, before I finally start, I have always to show our risk disclaimer and yeah that's important to mention that we talk about trading we talk about investment we talk about um, portfolios and everything else but finally whatever you do you do it on your own and you're on your own responsibility i think that's quite self-explaining but it has to be mentioned during any webinar. So let's start with the highlights of last week so that you get already a, a a hint what's possible with JFD Invest. So that is our newsletter we always send around once a week and um, we highlight the top performer which has been the strategy The Hunter earning close to two and a half percent within one week and we uh, highlight the top three uh, so which have been the Hunter, Goldmine and BIP Generator and you can see that are quite good numbers being the profits of a one week um, but you may ask yourself okay the hunter has earned two and a half percent which is nice but overall if we look to that performance here um you may think okay during uh, one year more or less it has happened nothing indeed i can only agree but that is just one strategy and it might be just an add-on to your portfolio because also that strategy will have better times than the last uh, three months i know that have been a drawdown um, from 10 percent to zero but now maybe it's a good time to go into the strategy once again and going north with that strategy as well but that's only one strategy jfd invest is more than one strategy let me show you what's possible and uh, how to go with uh, JFD Invest. And on our homepage, you find a button investing and there we go for JFD Invest. And then we will be almost in JFD Invest. 
the description of everything. And let me first scroll down that you you get a glimpse of what's possible with JFD and West. We always highlight the top five performing strategies uh, on the website. So the performance is updated on a daily basis. And you can see, okay, we have strategies with total returns in a double digit region. And the newcomer, Butterfly, is already within the top five. You may ask, hey, the newcomer and already in the top five. It's as always, we can only, or we, go only for new strategies who have a sufficient long track record. And of course, if the strategy is good enough for JFD and West, then we show it here. And then of course, um, the strategy have already some earnings. And in this case, uh, the strategy has already earnings of uh, close to 18%. And we will discuss the strategy later onwards. You see some key figures already down here. And uh, especially we have to mention equity balance deviation because it's something like the potential drawdown with open trades. And we have to review that number because you see, oops, there are numbers even minus 40%. And you can see a little bit mm, the higher the return, the more uh, uh, potential losses. Yes, it's trading, it's investing, and it's therefore always a question which strategy you like most um, according to your personal preferences. Because you might have thinking of, okay, a 10% drawdown is fine with me. Another one would say, oh, 10%, that's a nightmare. I can't live with that. I cannot sleep anymore uh, if I have 10% uh, drawdown within my account. Everything is possible. And I can not right away say which decision is a better one. And therefore, I just call it your personal preferences. And what you have to do is you have to find the match between your preferences and the given strategies, because we have more than even five. Let me show you in a, in a second. First, um, what's what's uh, needed in order to be part of JFD Invest, just four steps. And the first thing is to sign up. That means just pressing the green button. That's not already um, investing. It's just opening a profile <clears throat> with your email address and a given password. And then you can get uh, more access to more details of the different strategies. You may use the guest access, and that's the one I will start with, because that is something you can do every, anytime, anywhere, and in order to get some more information about the ongoing strategies. Finally, if you really like it, then you open a JFD Invest account. That's a special account with uh, the leverage of 1 to 100. It's the same conditions like professional traders. And the reason is you follow professionals and therefore you get the same kind of conditions. Still, you cannot open a trade by your own, like going long uh, within the ducks or something like that. No, nope. it's only meant for uh, following strategies and that's the only thing you can do. But you get the same conditions, which is a good thing. Uh, therefore, um, you get the leverage of one to 100. Finally, you connect both um, your profile with the um, account and then you can start investing. It's quite easy. But let's first have a look on what's really about if you go into JFT Invest. And therefore, I press the button uh, guest, uh, guest and that means I can see much more and I can explain a little bit more of what are maybe key figures in order to find the right strategies which fit to your preferences. And as you can see, there are in total 16 strategies. There's a, um, a page two, and um, you see different returns, inception dates, date, which is maybe already interesting for you as well. So it's the question, how old is that strategy? And how long does it show good results or maybe bad results? Um, so it's a little bit of mm, statistical significance for your trading decisions. Meaning, do you like Hyperion? Okay, the strategy has a track record of one and a half year now, has earned 66% within that time frame. Last month, you can see, okay, that was not the best one. Year to date, okay, um, during the year, uh, it's more or less a zero up to now. An equity balance deviation, 
is minus 40 percent let's let me explain a little bit more about that because that's really important it's it's a difference between open trades and closed trades so to say you know if you don't have a trade open then the two numbers equity and balance they equal um at the moment you open a trade then your open trades might be in profit or in loss and that is what's called floating losses or floating profits and the difference now between the balance which is always only closed trades and your actual account which is the equity and that difference is difference we uh, make transparent within the table because it's something like a at least floating drawdown so in terms of numbers yeah minus 40 percent means if you would be with 10k within that strategy there has been a time in the historical uh behavior of that strategy there have been floating losses of four thousand euros uh, therefore i mention it because it might be one um, parameter which you put into a your decision process on the other hand if you just look for what is the best return what strategy i should follow okay it's once again hyperion so that's uh, therefore um, just you you can decide if you just go for highest return that would be the best strategy for you let me go into the strategy hyperion because it's always too a uh, good example to show how things can run with um, following such a strategy and the first you see here is the overall growth that's important that we know okay that is the overall growth versus time starting in march uh, last year okay we have another button which is the equity okay now you may say whoops what happened here what happened was in march is it a drawdown and in order to answer the question by your own the answer is no because we haven't seen it within the growth that means there has been simply a withdrawal from that trader so he took out money from his uh, earned uh, trading account uh, from his earnings uh, and it's just his personal earnings it has nothing to do with money allocation so if you follow the strategy yes or no it's the master account the one um, which is used for for all copy activities i mentioned already equity balance deviation and we can look for that even versus time which is really important that you get a, a figure of that a graph of that for your trading decisions for your portfolio setup so what we can see here versus time there has been the maximum okay last year october and right now we have high floating losses as well okay we we have to know that overall mm, something like 10 to 15 percent is let's say usual for that strategy we have to keep that in mind if we want to decide yes or no going into that strategy um for for if you it comes to your decision what we have else here is all the other details monthly return table ideally we would like to have all green numbers uh and indeed we have two strategies which show up that and these two strategies are archimedes and uh the other one is uh, forex gun um they have just green numbers all around since inception but you have more here just that you have trading statistics uh, advanced statistics of the account and which might be also quite important for you for your decision we show up the traded instruments and the number of trade trades being executed uh, during the history and in this case you can see okay the strategy is mainly trading ducks and dow jones and there's real statistics behind about 2000 trades within that one and a half year so that's real statistics okay that's hyperion just one account let me show you another one um that we, we um, see what happens with other accounts as well let me go i mentioned already archimedes with all the green numbers this is another example um which is called balance and here overall growth quite fine okay there have been drawdowns also that's okay there have been even steps down which have not been recovered meaning there has been a stop loss being activated um so 
which is good to know that the strategy has stop loss. Equity balance deviation, that's a different number now. If you compare that picture to the other one, you can see, okay, there are sometimes spikes like this one, 12%. Okay, but overall, on average, <clears throat> it's a much smaller number. So the strategy is not that volatile. Traded instruments, okay, just four. Uh, that's a cool strategy, trading Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. So a little bit minus and US dollar. Okay, quite interesting. Um, almost green, but uh, for the monthly return to, but only almost. That's another good example of a strategy you may like or not. Let's go for the details because I have to mention at least two important figures here. One is a minimum investment sum. That's quite important. There's always a minimum invest. Um, in this case, it is 1,000 uh, euro. So you cannot go down. Um, and there's another number. I don't want to hide that. There's a performance fee involved. No management fee, so no ongoing costs. Only in case you earn money on a month's end base, then the performance fee will be charged. And the other good thing is only high watermark, which means if you are constantly invested in a, in a strategy, then you only have to pay if you reach new highs with that uh, strategy and only then. So any drawdown in between doesn't matter. And even if that one is recovered, you don't have to pay fees for the recovering uh, process. Uh, only if you reach new highs, since uh, you start following the strategy on a month's end space, then uh, the performance fee is charged. I think that's quite fair. Okay, that's overall some elements of how to make the decision process. Of course, we have to look for the overall return. We have to look for the drawdowns and we have to look for the equity balance deviation in order to decide does the strategy fit to my personal preferences, yes or no. And then, of course, we have to look for the minimum investment sum, whether we can still afford following that strategy, whether we have enough money within our account, and then maybe you click the button follow. And I will do it later just to show how easy it is to set up your portfolio and to um, follow a new strategy. Since I mentioned a new strategy and a new one is Butterfly. So Butterfly has a history since November last year. So that's about eight months, which is good that we have that kind of history. Overall return, we see, okay, year to date, quite well and equity balance deviation about 10 percent so let let's look for more details and what you, i'm doing here is what i would do anytime before i really jump into a new strategy i would really carefully look into what i can get and of key figures uh traded instruments equity balance deviation minimum investment sum minimum lot size traded just to to know everything how it may, might be if i follow that strategy let's start with the overall growth okay looks good we see some drawdowns um but finally since that looks like a recovery process so there have been ongoing trades being temporarily in floating losses and then recovery. Okay, we will look to that when it comes to equity balance deviation once again. Overall, quite steady, no big jumps, uh, only here to the south, but uh, guide to the eye is a perfect curve uh, going north. That's good. Let's have a view on equity as well, okay. And uh, now we see there are steps, whoops. What is the matter with that? Uh, those steps? Since we haven't seen them in um, the growth, then definitely there has been withdrawals from the trader behind that uh, strategy, which is okay. Um, it seems like, okay, enough earnings going down, enough earnings going down, enough earnings going down. So perfect. Uh, and it doesn't have any impact on, on, uh, on you if you follow that uh, strategy that's just the master account. Let's have a view on equity balance deviation as well. Okay. It's not like uh, Hyperion. 
it's more similar to balance. Um, overall, guide to the eye with 1%, we are already uh, more or less where we want to be uh, with uh, floating losses. So it seems trades are closed um, more on a short run. And we can look to that number as well. What is the typical trade duration of a trade? And let's see for that number in a, uh, in a second. So those is a, this is the equity uh, balance deviation. Good to know. It's not that volatile. So it's quite steady. Monthly return table. Oops, it's the third one with only green numbers, which is really nice. And now let's have a view on advanced st statistics because we can answer the question of average trade duration, which is 17 hours 40 minutes. So it's more or less an intraday uh, trading strategy, closing the trades already uh, within 24 hours, at least. On average. So let's have a view on traded instruments and trading statistics. So we have close to 2000 trades. Uh, that's uh, good statistics. And we can have a view on the traded instruments. Okay, in total there are six, but majority of trades are executed on four symbols, uh, all related to US dollar. So uh, we find um, Euro US dollar, then the cable British pound US dollar, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, and US dollar, Japanese yen. Okay, uh, so the strategy uh, is trading what I would call the majors. Um, the other two uh, doesn't count, at least not uh, statistically. So strategy is using the majors as being the traded instruments. Those instruments have a um, good story behind because the majors have uh, the smallest spreads uh, you can trade and therefore uh, even high trading activities um, is okay for such a strategy and to have 2000 trades within eight months uh, you can only do if you have extremely good trading conditions and those you have a JFD and therefore it's a perfect strategy I like it okay so that's butterfly and let's have a view on the details okay since the strategy is totally new nobody is invested up to now even that you can see uh, uh, a u e m means assets under management so up to now nobody is following that strategy but that will change uh, i think was uh, uh, in the next couple of days and you can see minimum investment is 3000 euro okay performance fee is uh, as always the same um okay we may look for the strategy once again uh, if i log in to my personal jfd invest account because then we can see um the closed trades as well um okay then we are at the next topic let's really go for a jfd invest account which is the portfolio uh since the very beginning of jfd invest uh, september last year and what you can see here is my personal jfd invest account because when we started jfd invest i opened a real JFD invest account and I follow a couple of strategies you will see I think in total right now as we speak I follow five strategies but I will show you exactly uh, which strategies I follow currently we have had an extremely gross um, starting from September up to May and then we have three steps uh, down okay also that might happen and uh, what have been the reasons for those steps down um, yeah we have strategies which uh, from time to time have losses and even those I have followed and therefore I have those um, drawdowns in my account as well but let's be realistic that belongs to trading and overall I still have a gross return of close to 25 percent recovery is ongoing so um, I uh, it's it's not the right thing to say I don't care about my step downs of, of course I don't like them but I know those belong uh, to any investment as well especially if you go for high returns as I do and then from time to time we will have those kind of drawdowns as well but let's have a look to my current allocation 
So my current allocation is five strategies, Archimedes, Balance, Neptune, Gold Rush, and uh, Gold Mine. Those are the five I follow currently. And as we can see, unallocated money. Okay, that's not enough for the new one, but virtually I want to show how it really works if you follow such a strategy. So let's do that kind of step. Find strategy and we uh, can go for butterfly uh, once again because I promised that I show the closed trades and uh, they will uh, show up in a second uh, here. Uh, just the loading, 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 and then we will see uh, the closed trades uh, down here on the web page. Okay, now we can see the last uh, closed 10 trades for that strategy. Symbols we know we knew already and um, here we see the volume of those trades. So uh, starting with minimum lot size, okay, uh, we know that. We see a little bit about the trading uh, frequency. Um, the day before yesterday uh, there have been a couple of trades being closed. So it's a good impression about any strategy and you can even go further down all the trades being executed uh, with that kind of strategy. If you would like to follow that strategy, hmm, it's really easy. Just pressing the button follow. And now I have to answer two questions. The first one is how much money I want to allocate with that strategy. And we see once again, the minimum amount is 3000, which I don't have uh, within uh, available within my JFD Invest account, therefore I cannot do it finally. But I want to explain another button, which is risk management. And risk management um, is meant the following. It's, you can set a stop level for any followed strategy, um, which means if that level would stick at 10%, what does it mean? If I invest 3K within that strategy, 10% is uh, 300 euro. So whenever your followed trades would reach a loss of 300 um, euros, or finally your account would have lost 300 euros because of closed trades, then the strategy is stopped out. That means all open trades of your followed trades are being closed and uh, strategy is stopped. So you any new trade will not be copied into your um, account. So it's like risk management for a single strategy. And you can choose whatever you like. Uh, you see the slider can go up between um, uh, 10 and uh, 95 percent and but it's up to you and I cannot give you a real recommendation the only thing which I can uh, recommend is compare that number to floating losses to floating uh, to drawdowns within the history of uh, the given strategy that's one thing and to your <clears throat> preferences meaning if you don't want to follow any thing which uh, has a loss of more than 10 percent of course you would put that slider down here but that's all to follow any strategy okay so it's really easy <clears throat> to do any step and um, that would be the new one uh, better fly and uh, yeah you can see how it works and you can see what you can achieve with jfd invest and even having some losses over the last three months Let's see how the recovery is ongoing. Still gross returns of 25%. It's a remarkable result and I like that. And if I have the same number after one year, uh, I'm fine. Um, and let's see where we can really end up the first year of my personal JFD Invest account. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to send me an email. Um, so let me put my email address uh, once again on the screen here. Um, it's s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. I know I have a really la complicated last name, um, but anyhow, uh, just call me Stefan. That's um, fair enough. And the other thing is you might even just um, send an email to support at jfdbank.com. And anyhow, we will help you with any question you might have related to JFD Invest, related to trading at JFD. Um, so 
then you might use that opportunity as well. That's for today with a new strategy called Butterfly. Quite cool. A new opportunity. Maybe that is one the missing part within your trading portfolio, your JFD Invest account. And let's see how everything develops. And I will report on that next week. Uh, I have no idea what was the day, but uh, definitely there's a webinar next week as well. See you again. Hope you enjoyed and have a good time. Bye-bye.